Hello and welcome to the presentation on how to factorize quadratic expressions. Today's lesson is just going to be an easy method on how to do this and I hope you understand so let's get started. So let's uh, have a general equation here, a quadratic equation. Well an expression here 6x squared plus 9x. Okay now what we want to do here is factorize this so let's write this up at the top. We want to factorize this equation. Okay, what we need to do first is find a common factor that goes into a common factor of 6 and 9. So we need to find a number that goes in 6 and 9. So immediately I can think of 3. So 3, I'll write 3 outside the bracket first. And um, we, we need it to go to 6x squared and 9x. So a common factor between x squared and x is obviously x. So then we close our brackets because we've taken the 3x out. And now we need to find out what we can times 3x by to get 6x squared. So immediately 3 times by 2 equals 6 and x times by x equals x squared. So we can write 2x inside the brackets. And just to double, double check that, you should always double check it, 3x times 2x equals 6x squared. And then let's put our positive plus sign here. And we need to get 9x. So what times by 3x equals 9x? It, well, all you have to do is times 3x by 3, which is 9x, and that's all we need. So we just write 3 here. And that is pretty much all it is to uh, factorize this expression. So just to go over that again, you need to take a, a factor, a common factor out of this. So we took 3x, and we open the brackets, and we put in side of the brackets numbers that times the bracket, uh, the number outside to make the expression we originally had. So 3x times 2x equals 6x squared, and 3x times 3 equals 9x. So let's move on to a, a slightly harder uh, expression. So let's change the color of our pen, uh, blue. So let's say we had x squared minus 5x minus 6. Okay, so what we need to do here is firstly label our sides, uh, our expression. You don't have to do this, but for the benefit of this video, I'm going to quickly show this if you don't understand. This is our a, this is our b, and this is our c. Now we need to work out first, the first step is to work out ac. So ac is this times by this. This is a positive 1, and this is minus 6. So AC equals minus 6. And now what we need to do, second step, is find two numbers that, two numbers that add up to make 5x and times to get minus 6. So if we just write over here, a completely different color. If we write up here, let's do this, minus 6, we need to have two numbers that times by together to get minus 6. So we could have minus 3 times by 2 or the other way around and 6 times by 1 well we could have sorry 6, ti oh, six times by 1 um, that would, you could have minus 6 times by 1 and minus 1 times 6 so what we need to do here is find the two numbers that add up to get minus 5 so yeah we could do minus 6 plus uh, and plus 1 which equals minus 5 so what we would have to do is rewrite that into the equation so in replacing this we're going to replace it with x squared which is there because uh, we had a plus 1 we're going to have a plus 1 plus x because it's uh, plus 1x uh, minus our 6x so minus 6x and then minus this 6 and what we need to do now is just factorize this so find a so step three, let's change the color once again. So let's do this. X over here, uh, let's bring a common factor is x. So we can put x out of the bracket here. And to get x squared, we times x by x. So we put x there. Plus, uh, that would simply just be 1. x times 1 equals x. And then we would uh, minus, minus 6 uh, outside the bracket because 6 is a, a factor of 6 anyway. Uh, open the bracket and minus 6 times by 
x would get us minus 6x, so we simply put x there, and minus 6 uh, and minus 6 gives us a positive sign. Um, so we need to do minus 6 uh, times by 1 to get minus 6. So we just do 1 there. So we, as you can see, minus 6 times by 1 equals minus 6. And once we have that, uh, we can simply, <clears throat> uh, because x plus 1 is a factor here in, uh, of both terms, we can take this outside of the bracket and then it becomes completely factorized to x plus 1 and x minus 6. Okay, and um, that, that's pretty much how we did it because this was a, a factor so we took it out and x minus 6 and x plus 1 is our final answer. Uh, there is another way you can do it, I'm just going to quickly show that now. Uh, when we got a times by c, we got minus 6. When we found out our two numbers, which were minus 6 and 1, all we could do is simply uh, put these into the bracket straight away. So x minus 6 and x plus 1. And that would straight away give us the answer. So you just need to do that. You can do that simply. And if not, you can do it this way. And uh, for the benefit of this video, I'm going to uh, do another one. Uh, so don't see. <clears throat> Just gonna quickly do another one, and um, uh, spare with me, guys, for one second. Okay. Just for the benefit of this video, um, so let's say we have x squared plus six x plus eight. So we want to factorize this. Uh, first, we need to times a and c. So a and c equals 8, a c equals 8. Um, so we need to find two numbers that add up to 6 that times to get 8. So we can do the factors here, 4, 2, 8, 1 should be it. But straight away we can find out 4 and 2 add up to 6. And these are both positive. So by the first way we can just fill in the terms, 2x. So is the 2x there plus the 4x, oh, my mistake, plus the 4x and then plus the 8 at the end. So basically we just we just replace this with its um, factors over here to make it simpler. And then we can factorize this again. So x is the term here. So x times by x would get us x squared. x times by 2 would get us 2x and there. And then we just do plus. Uh, this is this uh, 4 can be a factor of 8 as well, so we take 4 here. And 4 times by x equals 4x, and 4 times by 2 equals 8, and that's that. And then uh, x plus 2 is a factor once again, so we can take this here. x plus 2, and we have x plus 4. So that's that, and uh, just show you the other way that I had, that, had, it, uh, had told you afterwards. Uh, a pink pen. <laughs> so we had um, 4 and 2, so we could just simply write in x plus 4 and x plus 2 and that, that's just a very quick way to do it. Um, once you get used to these kind of questions you can quickly do it like this, but just to, from the beginning so you uh, form a, a base of these questions you should just do it this way, it just helps out, it just helps you expanding, your factorizing, but really you could just do it like this and that really is pretty much the video for today and um, I hope you learned anything, everything and if you do want to request another video on a subject please do and uh, thank you